up everybody? I'm Kelsey PHK and I love colorful things. So we're back once again with another episode of the Not So Berry Challenge. This time we are continuing the yellow generation with our girl Summer. Last time, you know, Summer, I honestly don't remember what happened last time. Um, Summer started kind of into teenhood. She and her mom are not really on the same page almost ever, but Summer also decided that she hated rocket science. I filmed these ahead of time like at least one week ahead. So I won't have gotten to see your comments on whether or not you think it's dumb that she hates rocket science until next episode. But please let me know uh, if I should remove it. I think I'm gonna keep it on for this episode and maybe focus on the other things in her life. And I'll know next episode what you guys feel about it. I think it's funny to have for a little while, maybe while she's a teen, but I really think that'll make this like a very challenging experience for me. And I don't know if uh, we'll actually get it done in the, like the time time that we have. So let me know. I'm also rocking, you know, my summer look. I actually kind of am wearing what she wears, which is like a yellow cardigan and a tank top. So I'm actually wearing almost like the uniform of summer today. I also am trying to rock some yellow makeup. So I was very inspired today. Do not expect this level of commitment every episode. I'm just going to say one awesome thing that has happened is that last time Poppy and Haru kind of started talking again. Poppy's been like single for, I want to say like a while now in our time. It's been short, but in Sims time, I feel like it's been like several months, if not a year almost. She and Haru have been bonding. They've been hanging out, flirting a little, but like nothing crazy. I don't know if they'd get together in this episode, but it does seem to look like he might be her last boyfriend in the challenge. But we'll see what happens next. If you're vibing this series, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, please subscribe to this channel and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time a new video goes live. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. I'm so excited for when I'm going to make a yellow house. I'm also really excited because Summer's gonna not take any money from her mom, like hardly any. So it's gonna be like a bit of a, a grind at the beginning, which I'm kind of excited about. It's been a minute since I've had a bit of a grind. So without further ado, I guess let's go in on this. Let's get into it. So here's Summer. Summer, we love you. I think she probably just worked out or played video games, one of the two. And here's Poppy with, oh my gosh, Haru's in the room. Wait, where did I leave this? I honestly don't know. It feels like it's been 10 years since I filmed this, but it's literally been a week. Look at him. He's having like the cutest little face. Wait, what? He wants to say goodnight though. Wait, is he gonna sleep in our bed with us? Oh boy, he thought about it. He thought about it. Okay, okay. Meanwhile, Summer's like, okay, bye dad. <laughs> she hasn't started her homework yet. So let's get her to start her homework. She is an A student. She's an excellent A student already in high school. Girl, get it. And she needs to, oh yeah, launch her upgrade or rocket so we didn't even have anything to do with the nerd brain except for work on the rocket. I forgot. That's like all we have to do right now is work on that. I mean, we could work on handiness. We could work on our handiness skill. I don't remember how we work on handiness, to be honest. Let me see. Repairing objects or using the woodworking table. Okay, we could work on the woodworking table. I think we have to max out handiness. So maybe we'll focus on handiness for the time being. It looks like our needs are all the way up. So let's end the game. I'm sorry. She's super mad. Oh, she's super cold. Oh my gosh. It must be cold outside. Let's set the thermostat to warmer or we'll have Poppy do it. I bet it's warm in Poppy's room because she's in front of a fireplace. That's probably why she always likes this room, even though it's her mom's room. Summer's like, ah, it's nice and warm in here because I'm next to a cozy fire. I bet she wants a cozy fire in her home someday. I feel like that would be very cute. I keep debating whether or not I want Summer to move to Mount Komorebi or if I want her to move to the like desert. I feel like the desert makes sense because like that's where kind of like the rocket stuff is in the science career. Oh, Haru's calling to come hang out. I mean, you just left, but okay, you can come back over. Haru, just move in already. Come on, you know you want to. Look at her, she's gonna go chat with mom. This is interesting. Oh, look at him. Every time he sees her, he just is like smitten kitten. Look how cute he is. He's so flirty. Oh my gosh. Ask him about his day. Be like, how's your day been since you've last been here literally minutes ago? She's been trying to kind of get them back together anyway, probably because she wants Haru to move in. <laughs> but also I think she does like her mom and dad together. Like even though she doesn't see eye to eye with her mom, oh my God, she's about to insult her mom. Don't insult your mom in front of your dad too. Look, his, her dad seems frustrated with that. Oh, and her mom just ran upstairs. She's probably like, he didn't come to visit you. He come to visit is it me, mom? And now she's telling an outrageous story to dad. 
Meanwhile, he's flirty. He clearly did kind of come to see Poppy too. Poor little Pop is like, I'm gonna warm myself by my fire and enjoy my time up here. It's a Sunday, so you don't even need to be doing your homework like this second at 1 a.m. on a Sunday, but you know, get it, Summer, get it. Who's walking around out here? Oh my gosh, there's multiple people outside. It is literally, oh, it's 1 p.m. Celia's here. Why don't you invite Celia in? Just be like, yeah, come on in, Celia. It's good that you're in the neighborhood, I suppose. I wonder if we read a book about rocket science if we're gonna hate it, probably, but, oh, we already own it. Oh, have we not read it? Let's have her, re oh, she's eating. Meanwhile, Poppy is chilling with Haru. Tell an engaging story, oh my gosh. She wants to tell a joke. You can tell a joke to the group. Tell a nog nog joke. Summer, oh my gosh, look at you cooking for yourself, queen. I'm proud of you. You've learned some things at school. It's very good. I love that logic and fitness are at top with handiness and writing randomly enough. Rocket science is level four. It's kind of the lowest of her necessary skills that she needs. The thing is that with the rocket science thing, even though she's learning it on a book, she still needs the ship in order to launch or upgrade the rocket five times. How exciting she could craft furniture for like when she eventually moves out. This is so cute. Okay, let's do a bar stool, see how it goes. All right, she's gonna try the bar stool. You know, we'll focus on the things that she's still kind of interested in. Oh, Haru came out to chat with her. He, pro he had a thumbs down emoji pop over his head. So I'm assuming he kind of came out to kind of be like, hey, you know, I didn't think it was very appropriate how you talk to your mom. I know you guys are very different, but you know, you need to cut her some slack. She's doing the best she can. See, look, he's kind of like, hey, I didn't like your attitude there, Missy. Meanwhile, Poppy's chatting with her bestie. They're having like some good quality girl time. I love that for them. Celia's come out. She's standing awfully close to Haru. He's now talking about Celia. Well, come on out. Let, you know, let's go gossip with the rest of them. Wait, she wants to, she wants to Woohoo with Karu! Oh my gosh. Coffee. The finished woodwork has been placed in household inventory. I've got to see what it looks like. Look how cute it is and Summer made it. Can we like change the design to be yellow? No, because she made it. It's blue. Summer, what were you thinking? Can she sell it? I guess we could sell it later. Girl, why aren't you making yellow things? We could craft like a dragon and then give it to someone. Let's do that. Maybe we could craft sculptures and give them as gifts or sell them a plopsy while she's still a teen. I love how Summer went out here to be alone and then like everyone came out here because Haru came out here. Oh, Haru's watching TV. Well, why don't you uh, watch with him? You guys can all watch a movie. Well, watch The Adventures of Spaceship Simulation. Yeah, go go watch that all together. Summer wants to propose a crazy scheme, finish her extra credit, and play some video games. Oh, enter a gaming tournament. Oh, her dragon is done. Let me see. It is an excellent quality. List on Plopsy. For five simoleons? Are you kidding me? Its value is $40. You know what? Why don't you just give it to your dad? Give it as a gift. It'll be cute. He is not liking this movie. <laughs> I love that. Oh, she's going to go do some yoga. Okay, girl, go off. Is that fitness though? Is that going to give you a higher fitness level? Because if not, I think you should just go on a run. This is wellness instead of fitness, right? Yeah, it's wellness. I love the tenacity, but however, I would much rather you go jogging. We're working on her fitness and her handiness this episode because we, <laughs> I don't even want to try with the other stuff. Meanwhile, Poppy's vibing with her friends. Ask both of them to hang out. Be like, why don't you guys hang out longer? I cannot believe one of Poppy's thing is woohoo with Haru. Like, Poppy, uh, girl. She's like, I'm an adult, I have needs. <laughs> Meanwhile, Summer's like, I gotta get away. She's really hustling. This is like a beautiful area to run. But as I was saying before, let me know if you want her to move to the desert because like kind of that seems like very like where they'd build spaceships or do you want her to move to Mount Comorambi and she can still be like a spaceship scientist in Mount Comorambi, I'm sure. Oh my gosh, that woman is rocking my outfit. Look, my cold weather outfit. This woman stole it from me. So some people have been asking about like, cause I mentioned before, maybe changing summer skin tone as she gets older, maybe it fades or something like that. I like it for summer. I'm definitely keeping it. I think it makes sense for the story, but for like future generations, I think I would just want to like it to be non occult skin tones for at least a little while. I feel like I've had occult Sims for like a long time. Technically summer is not an alien in the Sims 
occult requirements. Like she's technically not an alien like Poppy is. Poppy has like a shift change thing and she can do alien stuff and Summer cannot. So technically she is not an alien. I am aware of it. However, in the story of the game, I consider her part alien. And this is why obviously she has an occult skin tone because she's descended from aliens and she considers herself kind of alien. Anyway, that's my little spiel. I, I noticed people were asking in the comments, so I wanted to mention it. Poppy's making dinner for herself as usual. Look at him. He is so flirty. He just follows her from room to room just to chat with her. Is he even wanting to cook with you? Invite to join cooking. You want to help me cook, Haru? He's like, all he's doing is being like, cooking, cooking, cooking. If she's not cooking enough for him, she should cook him something too. It seems like he's hungry. I think she made just a salad for herself. Why don't you cook with Haru? Ooh, vegetable dumpling sounds really good. Go cook some vegetable dumplings together. Don't just make yourself a salad on your own. You can take that for later, okay? Oh my God, she still wants to do yoga. You little weirdo. Go off, queen. Do your yoga. I love you. If you want to do your wellness, I'm not going to stop you. I mean, I did before, but I won't this time. <laughs> Poppy and Haru are cooking together. I'm living my Sims dreams right now. Just watching them enjoy their life in domestic bliss. Celia's just vibing on the couch. Celia's like, okay, they left me alone in here. So I'm gonna, oh, she's got like this huge iPad. Is she drawing? Oh, maybe she's a little artist. She does a little procreate action. Good for you, Celia. Love to see that. Wait, so has Celia had any kids? <gasps> she has three kids and she's unmarried and she her career as a babysitter daycare admin. How cute is that? She has three kids. Oh my gosh, my world is expanding so much. Summer vibing, doing her thing. She's gonna pro oh, clean out spoiled food. What a good girl. She's such a good girl. I just really want her to work on the rocket ship. I know it's gonna stress her out, but I'm just gonna have her do it. I'm sorry, girl. I know it's gonna stress you out, but I'm gonna make you do it before you go to bed. She's like, oh, I hate this. I hate this. I'm like, I'm sorry. You have to, ooh, I think we added another part on. Good job, Summer. Summer, I know you're stressed, but you got this, okay? You've got this. Please get up to level five of rocket science skill. You know, I think it's very admirable of her. Oh my gosh, she's freezing to death. Girl, change your clothes. There we go. She's stressed out. Oh, she's too uncomfortable to do this. Uh, fine. We didn't even get to level five. Wait, now you're comfortable. Get back here. She be baby. As soon as she walked away, she was like, I'm fine. Look at that. Look at that. Ah! I am literally fighting her for this. Like as soon as she does it, she's like, I'm uncomfortable to do it. I'm too uncomfortable to do it. Get to level five, please. Thank you. Oh my God. This is going to be a long haul. She's like, I hate this so much. I'm having a bad time and now she's very tense so she won't do it anymore fabulous meanwhile poppy's like oh she's vibing where is everyone i guess haru left while we were outside with summer she's like bye mom did not respond to mom whatever mom was talking to her about and is going inside to like eat some food great she's eating some eggs and toast and then i guess i'll have her play some video games let's do a little game tournament because that was like a thing she wanted to do and it'll bring her fun oh and she didn't do it it. She's gonna go to bed instead. All right, fine. Ignore all of the, my hopes and dreams. Poppy, meanwhile, is inspired from uh, cooking and her heating and her delicious food, but she's having a bit of work withdrawals and she's watching some TV. That is very cute. Oh, it looks like a horror film. This is actually very creepy to watch her watch this through the window. I love like having all the walls up in The Sims because it feels like a dollhouse, but what is she doing? She's going to work at 3 a.m.? She can do that? She went into work for herself for fun. And then she had more work withdrawals, even though she went into work on her own. Very confused about all of this but that's fine. Why don't you go to sleep in your bed since you're sleepy and you have like a couple hours until work. So cute. Good night, Poppy. And both of my girls are asleep. And now Poppy needs to go into work already in an hour. Summer has school in an hour. Oh, her needs are not that great. All right, let's use the toilet. Let's get your needs up as much as we possibly can. Her fun is down. All right, can we grab like a serving of something really fast? I don't know if we'll be able to get your needs up. We could try headphones. Does Poppy have headphones. Can you place those down, Poppy, so that I can give those to your daughter? And thank you. Where did you put them? Literally, where did you put them? I do not see them. I'm so annoyed right now. Where did she put them? Um, uh, okay. Well, I guess Summer will not get to listen to the music while she's getting ready for school. Ah, mom's going into work. 
Okay, she's eating her dumplings, but she's gotta go to school. Oh my gosh. You're like 15 minutes late, girl, hurry. Her fun is so bad. I feel so bad for her. Outdoor studying. The teacher announces some outdoor study time to get the kids out of the classroom for a while. Should Summer take her studying outside or just go hang outside with her friends until it's time to go back in? I feel like she'd study. Summer 100% does it. It's really okay to take a short break now and then Summer's brain reaches information overload. Oh no, she's feeling overworked and our bills are, are here. So let's pay our bills. Luckily we have a ton of money. Okay, oh my gosh, Summer. Summer's like gonna go light the bonfire in the back. Okay, girl, girl. Oh God, you lit yourself on fire? That's gonna make yourself tense. Okay, why don't you play with the fire? I don't know what that means. At least this is making her fun go up. She's like having a fire time. Yeah, she's not having that much fun. I don't know why she decided to want to do that, but why don't you enter your gaming tournament like you wanted to do earlier, okay? She's just not having more fun. She was thinking about diapers. I don't know why. Oh my gosh, Poppy is asleep. I didn't see Poppy on the couch. She's asleep and smelly. Like, what are you doing, girl? Go take a little bath, okay? Take a little bath with some rose petals. Oh my gosh, she's already feeling flirty. She's already feeling flirty. Our Poppy. Oh my goodness. When does she age up? In seven days. Oh my gosh. No way. She's going to be an elder in seven days. When does our girl age up? Three days of being a teen left? Oh my gosh. No. It went by so fast. She doesn't even have any teen friends. I promise she'll make friends when she's an adult, okay? She's not going to blossom in high school. Oh, she didn't win, but that's okay. Burnt arm. Oh my God. She burned her arm at the fire pit, but at least her fun's up. You know, she's uncomfortable comfortable because of her burnt arm, but her fun is up. She's feeling happy because she tried that tournament. Maybe she made like online friends in high school. That's kind of cool. I, I had that too. Okay. She's doing her homework. We love to see it. Oh, she's sad because she lost the game tournament. It's okay, Summer. You know, that might not be your calling anyway. You're more interested in space. Ooh, someone's calling Summer. Let's go to the light fireworks at the Humor High Hygiene Festival. I want to. Okay. I want to. Let's Let's go. All right. We'll do homework after. Her best friend's like her dad, which is so cute. And her best friend before that was her grandma. So, you know, look at them. Oh my gosh, she's so tired though. Let's go give dad a, a big old hug and be like, hey, I can't stay out too late. Buy some fireworks at a stall and light them. Okay, let's go buy some fireworks and set them off. Okay, she's they're going to buy, ooh, a Roman candle, a spark fountain. Let's buy both. It's mom's money. She's gonna spend it while she's got it, baby. All right. Can we like place in world and light? Yeah, let's do it. Come on, dad. Where is dad? Oh my gosh, why are you all the way over there? Your daughter's over here and she's like needing to pee, to be honest. Go use the bathroom. No, no, Haru, come here together. Why don't you show off a selfie and then why don't you place the world and light another firework? I wish they could light them together. It's weird that they cannot. He's laughing about the selfie. He thinks it's funny. All right, here we go, dad. This one's definitely gonna work. Hey, look at that, that's beautiful. Wow, oh, they're gonna watch the fireworks. Everyone's watching them. Good job, that's fun. I love that dad always, oh, look at her doing a little proper introduction. I love that she always goes to these festivals with dad. Like I love that her dad always takes her to all these fun little festivals to get her out of the house. I feel like she loves that kind of stuff. She's not super social, but she loves a good time. You know, it's almost over. Why don't you grab one more? Oh my gosh, she's so tired. You could grab some food. <laughs> Why don't you add get some pho? She's chatting with dad, having a good time. All right, last one. Yeah, that's a good one. Why don't we end this a little early and we'll go home? That's what's fun. She's exhausted. Haru's still bopping like, but he seems like he's heading out too, actually. So it's all fine. That was like very fast, but it was a cute little moment. They went and they fired off some fireworks. They he got her out of the house, got her hanging out. Summer went home and she had a nice sleep and now she's right in the fridge. It is morning time. Poppy woke up flirty and is taking out the trash, being a good, good mom moment. Well, being a good adult, I guess, <laughs> moment. Our homework's like not completely done. Drama. And she wants to finish reading a book. I know a perfect book that you could read. I don't think that you're gonna enjoy reading it, but I do wanna check if you will or won't. So maybe you should finish reading the second rocket science book. <laughs> 
I just want to see if that makes her sh as stressed as the other thing does. Poppy is so flirty this morning. Send a flirty text. Oh, they're sitting together. I'm kind of thinking I want to change Poppy's hair. Not a crazy amount of change, just like a little bit of change. She looks so cute with long hair too. I feel like she's kind of past the long hair phase of her life, but maybe she's not. Now I keep being like, wait, I like her with long hair. Like, look how cute she looks. Should I just do it? Should I just give her long hair? Oh, that was what she used to wear. She used to wear these hairs. I love this hairstyle too. I think that's so cute on her. Also, it matches mine. Now I'm like, maybe I do want her to rock some long hair, but she does look younger with her hair grown out. So let's, let's just keep it short. It looks great short. I think it just makes sense too. She's a little no nonsense. I don't think she would grow it back out at like this moment. I changed my mind. I found a new hairdo for her. I found a new hairdo for her. I like that a lot on her. Okay, we're gonna do like a longer Athena hair. Oh, that's cute. Okay, okay. We're gonna freshen up a little bit. We're changing it up a bit. Poppy, I love giving her new hair. What can I say? I just love it. She's a little diva and so she gets new hair all the time. <laughs> As a girl who almost never changes her hair, I live vicariously through Poppy. Okay, let's see if she gets stressed while reading this book. No, I don't think she is getting stressed while reading the book. This is maybe Maybe a good workaround, at least for now. Yes, it is a good workaround. Okay, fabulous. She does need to go to high school, but I found a workaround. She can read the book and gain her rocket science skill that way, but she still needs to finish a rocket at some point, even if she hates it. One of Poppy's coworkers needs help with a task. What should she do? She would, I think she would rally the team. Poppy tries to get the rest of the team to help out. Oh, only a few people volunteer. The coworker is still able to finish the task on time, but it would have been a great team building opportunity. Oh, well, ooh, running the class. The teacher has to step out for a second to talk to the parent. She asked Summer to run the class for a little while. Should Summer keep following the lesson plan the teacher laid out or do something fun and go easy on her classmate? I think she'd follow the plan. She would 100% be like, yep. It was going to be a quiet working day anyway. Summer's classic barely noticed the difference. It's not like she's lecturing them on periodic table or anything. The performance gain is small. <laughs> That's so cute. Yes, we've reached a new level of logic and new level of charisma. Good job. Oh, she is angry though. She had an annoying school day. Apparently she did not enjoy doing whatever that that was. So she needs uh, to relax. Ooh, I know what you could do. Why don't you go on your little jog to clear your mind? That's always good. And Poppy is doing good as a national leader, but she is also feeling like bored, but also flirty. She wants to play chess. That is so random for her. Let's have Poppy send a flirty text as usual to Haru. She's gonna just send Haru a little text. Meanwhile, Summer is enraged and running. Rage run on the treadmill. She doesn't have a treadmill. I suppose we could buy one. We have enough money, but I think the good outside is doing just fine. Oh, she's having a nice after work beverage, being a little fancy pants. Oh, she's feeling happier and stronger. Good job, Summer. I'm proud of you. Oh my gosh, is that a dog? That is a dog in a dinosaur outfit. That is rainbow. I love that. So she is done with that. She's feeling good. We do need to launch or upgrade a rocket five times. So I will have her continue building her rocket even if she hates it because she's in a good mood. Oh, but now she's not. Okay, well, that lasted all of two seconds of her working on that rocket ship. She still does it because she wants to go to space, but she doesn't enjoy the experience. Poppy, meanwhile, needs some fun. Oh, it'd be cute if she like learns piano. She's never sat down, but maybe it'd be cute if Poppy learns piano for her dad. You know, she never like tried. She just bought it for him and he never played it because he always preferred spending time with the family when he was there. So we're gonna just take care of all our needs and then try to get her back out on that rocket ship. It's such a pain in the butt. Okay, can you go build the rocket ship now? She's like, oh, this stresses me out to listen to mom terribly play piano. Hate that for me. The food was good though. Thank you, mom. She's very tired. So she's not gonna probably, as usual, do this for very long, but we're going to at least keep trying. Come on, keep working. You got this. You got this. Come on. Oh my gosh, please for me, girl. She literally will look at it for two seconds and be like, nah. Do you see this? Oh wait, Haru is just here? Um, okay. 
I think she should ask him to hang out. He just like showed up at the door. Ask about his day. <gasps> she was gonna do a flirt thing. Oh, I should have let her do it. She wants to flirt with Haru. Okay, I'm gonna let them do their own thing from now on. They're chatting. They're having a pleasant conversation. Do not sleep. He just got here. Oh my gosh, woohoo in the shower. Ask to be boyfriend. Oh my gosh, compliment his appearance. Maybe invite him to stay the night. Be like, oh, it's, it's getting late. I'm getting tired. Do you wanna just stay over? He says the sleepover sounds great. Oh my gosh. I want them to have dinner together. It's like late and she hasn't eaten yet. So fantastic. Please sit with her. And he is. Yay. Oh my gosh. Look at them. Enthuse about meal. Because they made it together. Look at them just vibing. Maybe they should take this to the next level. <gasps> oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. It's been definitely building to this. They are so cute together. Oh, look at them giving a little hug. Oh my gosh, attempt to seduce him. He is into the seduction. Oh, it says bringing out the best. Poppy can be inspired to be her best self around the sim that she adores. Oh, he makes her her best self. That's so cute. And she wants to woohoo with someone. Well, I feel like this could happen. I'm just saying, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I mean, she's tired anyway, so she's like, wanna go to bed? <laughs> Oh, apparently he said yes. So, oh my gosh, Haru and Poppy are going to the bedroom. And dot, dot, dot. Wait, there are those headphones that I've been looking for. All right, I'm gonna leave Poppy and Haru to it. I'm gonna focus on sweet baby Angel over here. Having a nice slumber, having no idea that her parents are getting together. Oh my gosh, and then they fell asleep together. How cute. Oh my gosh, mom and dad. Ah! love them so much. I'm so happy for them. Summer's woken up at 7 a.m. stressed out, so she's gonna play video games in the morning. Meanwhile, Poppy is feeling very happy this morning, having a nice little splash in bed while Haru is here. I feel like maybe she should wake him up and... Oh, I don't want them to move too fast, though. Part of me was like, I want her to ask him to be her boyfriend. I mean, but she does age up in like three days. Be asked advice. Oh my gosh, Summer's gonna come up and ask advice from mom and see that horror is over. She's gonna be like, hey, dad in mom's room in his pajamas. She said, but who am I? I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up and all my friends just seem to have figured out. It seems like she's really going through it. Cause like when she was little, she's like, I wanna go to space. I wanna go to space. I wanna go to space. And then now that she's actually building a rocket, she's maybe having like second thoughts. Maybe that's why she dislikes it so much. She's like, can I really do this? Like, is this really what I want? I feel like Poppy would say, no worries, you have time. You don't have to always have it figured out. It's okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, she fell out of range of the responsibility trait. Oh my gosh. Poppy, I'm so mad. Okay, influence to be responsible. Oh my gosh, I'm so annoyed that she, can, I, can we up responsibility? How do I up responsibility? Okay, she's going to high school. Dang it, but Poppy has a day off today. What? That's that's kind of cute. Poppy's got a day off. Maybe we should like ask him on a date. Yeah, I think she should ask him on a date to be like, want to go on a date today? Do a little hang. Okay, perfect. They're going on a date. Where should they go? I want to go somewhere special. I think I remember their first date was definitely at like a Del Sol Valley Museum or something. It was at a museum. So let's go to a museum. It might be the same one that was their first date. It might not. I don't remember. Oh my gosh, how cute are they? They're on a day. Look at him running. Look at him. Oh, she's so happy. Okay, Summer's responsibility is back in range to get the responsible trait. Perfect. I was like, I cannot believe Poppy just wrecked that. Discuss logic puzzles. I know that's like a random thing to start, but tease him flirtatiously. Oh my gosh, they're getting really close. And she's giving him a little back massage. Oh, look at them gazing into each other's eyes. I feel like I'm like intruding. <laughs> Even though this is 100% the goal. Okay, she is very flirty. He's not quite flirty yet, so we need to get him flirty too. Pick up line, maybe. Oh my gosh, they are maxed out on both relationships. They're soulmates. Oh my gosh. Our old Harvest Fest is tomorrow. Tomorrow is our daughter's birthday, and then on Monday is our birthday. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. Tell him a funny story. It says, kiss the date. It's like nothing. Nothing has changed between them, but it also everything has because she's more subtle in her ways. She knows what she wants. They've already had a kid together. They've raised a teen together. Oh, look at them. They're 
they're like, they snuggled the first time on their date. I remember at the museum too. It's so cute. Passionate kiss. What did he just, is he just walking out? Okay, there's like some celebrity outside. So he went to go check it out. I do not know why he has that like, I don't like you kind of thing. Maybe he, there's still a little bit of hurt there. And then maybe on the steps of the museum, our girl is gonna ask him to be her boyfriend. And he's gonna say yes. Meaning that we have just completed the serial romantic aspiration for the roast generation. High five, baby. He is now officially our boyfriend, our final boyfriend, Haru. And we can marry him once we are an elder, but maybe we should ask him to move in with us. Would it be crazy? I feel like it would, but it wouldn't. But I don't want them to move too fast because she's moved fast with everybody. So I almost like think maybe we'll ask him another day, but I do want him to move in. <laughs> How is Summer doing at school? She's a little tense, a little tense, but she's doing great with her skills. Harsh chatting with some peeps outside. Ed Eggleston, apparently. Wait, what? Celia's here? Wait, Celia has a spouse, Roman. Celia did not have a spouse last time we saw her. Did you get married? Uh, She did get married to Roman Kialoa. Oh my gosh, is this him? No, that's not him. That's a teen. Oh my gosh. I want to be like, celebrate her. That is so cute. Ask about love life. I want to know. She's like, I just got married. I can't believe we weren't invited to the wedding. Go embrace your boyfriend, Haru. So cute. Oh my gosh. My ship is finally sailing again. It took us so long. But it was time. I love them to pieces. <laughs> My favorites. Boyfriend, key holder, soulmates. Wait, he's smitten with her. He's enamored. He's deeply connected, cooking together. They have the cutest bond. I love it. In spite of the fact that he randomly has that pop up over his head. But maybe he likes teasing her. You know, maybe he likes her little fire personality and putting her in a place a little bit sometimes. He's such a cool, chill guy. I feel like her fiery personality kind of like does something for him, you know? Jade wants to call and chat. Yeah, we'll call and chat with Jade. Summer has returned home from school, so we should probably go home. I cannot believe our girl Summer is aging up in this episode. <gasps> There's a fire? No. Oh my God, where, 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 where? I'm literally not seeing it. Oh my God, oh my God, Poppy, 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 extinguish yourself. Oh my God, she's on fire. Oh my God. Oh, it burned up some stuff in our, oh my gosh, extinguish. Wait, is this is super glitching. Oh my gosh, extinguished self. This definitely burned up some stuff in this room and I don't remember what it was. Poppy was put on fire twice. There was definitely a glitch where she left the fire running and it burned some stuff down in her room. I felt like there might've been a rug around here, but there is not anymore. And you know what? That's okay. Meanwhile, Summer's feeling very focused. So cute. Do not light that Summer, okay? Don't. You're feeling focused. Why don't you go build your rocket ship? Okay, I'm literally so over or are you not liking rocket building? When you age up, I'm gonna let that go, okay? You're gonna fall in love with it again. Seriously? Seriously. I'm so annoyed with her. All right, why don't you go on a jog? Just go jogging, okay? I can't with you right now. I cannot with you right now where you're like refusing to do any of the things that I need her to do for her rocket science. Oh my gosh, is this just Haru walking up to our home? What a cutie. Did you light your fire again? Just tr put that out. Look, Haru did come up. He's literally here all the time. Invite him in. Maybe she should give him a hug. Be like, this was such a stressful day. There was a fire when I got home. That's probably why he came over. She probably called him and let him know. Why don't you give him a little embrace? It's so sad. So stressful. She's like, it was so stressful. I wish you were here all the time. Invite him to stay the night again. Be like, will you sleep over? I don't want to be here alone. He's like, yeah, I'll stay over. Why don't you guys have a movie night? The Lost Dogs Journey into Home together. They're going to Oh, I love when they watch movies together. I think it's cute. Meanwhile, Summer is very focused because of her drog. She's feeling very good. We're gonna maybe give her a shower. Water's been shut off. <gasps> she can't take a shower. Oh man, that sucks. Okay, why don't you craft a knife block again? I don't know. Just keep working on your handiness skill. Why don't you craft another knife block? Oh, we should have some like upgrade parts. I wonder if we can upgrade anything. Yes, upgrade some stuff too. Just get there with your handy girl. Oh my gosh, water shut off days finally ended. Thank goodness. And we reached handiness level six. Good job. Haru went to bed. Bobby's getting in the bathroom.
hot tub. I love it. It's like they live together, but they haven't like officially started living together yet. But it's like gonna be one of those things where like he's always over all the time anyway. Like it just makes sense. She's taking her little bath, dreaming of the day that she'll move out and have her own little hot tub. Poppy's sneaking down to play some video games on her daughter's gaming console. She's asleep. I really don't feel like I've gotten her enough of the skills. I wish the rocket science would just go, you know? Like I wanna just finish this rocket. Well, we can't bring it with us. Oh my gosh. Oh, yay, repair that. I don't think we can bring the rocket with us. So she'd have to build another one anyway. Still, it'd be nice if like that one was done. It is her birthday and harvest fest. I can't believe she's gonna age up into an adult. I'm not ready. I felt like it would just happen that she was a teen. This is all going so fast. Oh my gosh. What are you reading? Handiness volume one, try not to die. She's like taking an interest in her daughter's act. I feel like Haru is like a really good influence on Poppy too. You know, I feel like she she's trying to make an effort more to like get into what her daughter likes and, and bond with her. It's so cute. Go sleep in bed with your, with your boyfriend. And everyone is asleep on this Thursday. Thursday evening. Oh, Haru woke up first on Harvest Fest. He's probably gonna have to go into work because he took a day off yesterday with Poppy. Unless he's going to do something else. Nope, he's gonna go get some food. See, it is literally like he already lives here. We might as well ask him to move in with us. She's gonna go chat with him. Oh, maybe she should just ask him. Ask to join household. He said yes. Oh my gosh, he's gonna move in with us. And he has 20,000 simoleons. Oh my gosh, Haru officially lives with us. This is so cute. Did he ever like have a relationship with anyone else? No, he never loved anyone but Poppy. This is so cute. Oh, little Haru. Look at his relationship with Summer too. They have such a good relationship. Meanwhile, Summer's with Poppy. He's like, no, nah, not good. <laughs> Oh my God, and it's her birthday. He's gonna have to like wake her up and tell her. Go wake her up and tell her the news that you're moving in. I feel like he would be, he'd make more sense to wake up his daughter than, than Poppy. And then share some Harvest Fest spirit and then have a little deep conversation about the fact that I'm, I'm moving in with your mom and taking some serious steps. All right, he woke up his daughter. Poppy's going to work. Everybody's got school and work at the same time. Everyone's off to work, bye. This is so so cute, the whole family. I just can't. I can't believe I have to do a birthday and a harvest fest. Oh, she has the close knit lifestyle. This is so cute. Oh, she's learning the techie. Oh, I love that for her. She's in the single loving it in progress, but she already has a lifestyle. I want to see it. Close knit. Sims of the close knit lifestyle prefer to form deep connections with a small circle of friends. To acquire and maintain this lifestyle, a sim should keep their friend count between one and three sims while seeking to deepen the relationships they do have. That is so so summer. I think that's perfect for her. I love that. She's just like really close with her dad and clearly no one else. Poppy's feeling very flirty, but why don't you pop? I'm going to bring out the little decor because mom wants to decorate for her harvest fest as usual. And we're going to have Poppy put up some decorations. Perfect. These are very cute decorations. I don't even have to change them. They're already cute. Why don't we start cooking a grand meal? Oh my gosh, our power is off. Are you kidding? It'll zoom 30. Thursday at 9 p.m. Are you flipping kidding me? We can't even make a birthday cake for our daughter. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to age my daughter up? Okay, we're gonna have to have our birthday party somewhere else, which maybe might be fun for Summer. Let's have Summer use the toilet and then I'm gonna have her work on repairing some stuff as usual. Ooh, Haru's bringing home some bacon too now. Look at him go. Oh, he's so cute. He wants to be friendly with Poppy by a cat call. Oh, no, I feel like they should adopt a cat after summer leaves. Like they would adopt a cat together. So cute. Why don't you go get in the thankful spirit with your dad too? Oh my gosh. I'm so annoyed that they're going to have to have a birthday somewhere else. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Our handiness is level six, fitness level six, and rocket science is still just really low. But since it's 5 p.m., let's plan a social event. Maybe she'll plan her own birthday party. She's a teen. She's almost an adult. So we're gonna plan her own birthday party for her. And she's gonna have it wherever she wants. Let's have the birthday sim is summer. We'll just invite family. That seems about right. We'll have it at the bar. She's gonna be turning into an adult and she's having a birthday party at a bar in Mount Comoravi. This is so cute. And our parents are together. We need a cake. Look at everyone. They're like, yeah, it's your birthday. 
Hey, go up. But they're all celebrating Poppy. I don't know why. Maybe it's because they're like, hey, you got a boyfriend. But this one we actually like. <laughs> there does not seem to be like a place to a kitchen to get like a cake. I hate to like ruin what is an actually great build already, but I'm gonna just really quick make a little kitchen for us. Okay, here, that's perfect. Okay, and then we'll put like a little area and then like a little oven as well. All right, perfect. All right, we can make her a birthday cake now because this place is power. All right, so Poppy is going to cook together with Haru. Haru and Poppy are gonna make it together. Hold on, I might need more space. We're going to make a birthday cake for our baby girl. We can make a really fancy cake. This one looks kind of like gold a little bit. So let's do that. Okay, so they're gonna make the cake. Meanwhile, why don't we chat with our alien aunt and get to know her better. Thank her for coming. Talk about warm temperature. Meanwhile, they're like up here vibing. Look at them making the cake together. I love it when I can have Sims cook together. And I think this is such a cute little thing that they've done since they first met. Oh, look at her. She wants to just chat with him. Be like romantic. They're so cute. This is a cute cake. Oh my gosh, that is literally perfect for summer. Okay, can we just put the, what? Excuse me? Can we not put, can we not put candles on this cake? Okay, that cake does not count apparently. So we have to cook again. We'll make the matcha cake again because we made it last time for her birthday. We'll just have two cakes. This will be the cake for eating since everybody always wants to eat the cake early anyway. So why don't we call it a meal? Be like, hey everybody. Oh, she's feeling a little exhausted because other people are at this bar. She's gonna call everybody to the meal. Do you wanna come blow out your candle? Let's bring this downstairs and we're gonna celebrate our daughter. Oh, she got some dancing skills with dad. This is the cutest thing. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I love that they're having a little boogie down moment together, father and daughter. She loves S-pop music. Yes, she should love S-pop music. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. Hug lovingly. This is so cute. Did no one eat this? The one time I'm like, Sims, you can eat this. They're like, nah, I don't wanna eat it. Where's my matcha cake? <gasps> No, 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 no. So annoyed. As usual, they eat the slices of the cake before she can have her birthday, but happy birthday, sweet baby angel summer. I cannot believe she's already an adult. Oh my gosh, happy birthday. Here she goes, she aged up and her last trait is ambitious. I think this is when like she leaves school and she decides that like her father, she's get, you know, she's more like her father now. She decides that like, you know, she's gonna put her nose to the grindstone and really work towards her dreams of becoming a scientist. I am going to go into Kaz and I am going to give her a cute little makeover for her adult look. I literally felt like I just gave her an episode ago, her teen makeover. Like, what is this? This is so fast. Face wise, she's perfect. I don't think any, I think maybe her blush could change. Oh, I like this purple blush on her because it kind of matches her face, that's really cute. Okay, I love that. We'll take out the clips because that does feel pretty young, even though I rock clips and I'm an adult, but we'll, we'll change that up, we'll keep this. We could give her this look. This looks like way more adult though than I want her to be yet. I love all these on her, but I also love this, but that's what Poppy wore when she was a teen. I kind of like this, I kind of like that one. I'm gonna keep that the same and I'm gonna have her hair kind of like this. She looks a little more mature on her. For her accessories, necklaces. This is minstrel jewelry. Maybe she got it from mint. Oh my gosh. Yes. She get she got mint jewelry. And then this top, maybe we can like give her something else to mix it up a bit. Plenty of little shirts and stuff that I wanted, but like, I was like, this is too mature, I think for her at the moment. But now she's a little older. So I feel like she can rock it. Okay. So that's perfect. This one, I still love. I'm not changing it. It's perfect. It's perfect. And then this one, we could do like this little top that I had planned out for her. Oh my God. Yes. She looks amazing. <gasps> this one has sunflowers on. So cute. Okay. So we have these. Oh my 
gosh. Okay, and we'll maybe give her one more because I feel like there were other ones that I was like, oh, that one's really cute, but she's a little young for it. And now I'm like, oh, we can wear all of those looks. Oh, well, yeah, I loved this top in the yellow. This one was really cute. It's got like a bralette underneath, which is really cute. For some reason, I'm really feeling this top because it looks great with these jeans, but I also kind of want to wear these jeans. Oh my God, that whole outfit slaps. This looks so good. For fancy wear, still love it. Athletic wear is still perfect. Uh, sleepy wear is still cute. Party wear, and there we have it. There's a nice cold weather look for our girl. So here's Summer's new looks. I am obsessed with her. We still kept some of the old ones just because I love them so much, but she's a little more mature, ready to fit, go out and live on her own. She's not quite there yet because I do need to finish Poppy's part of the challenge, but I'm gonna wait until I see what your guys' comments are, but I have a feeling I am going to be removing in the next episode her dislike of rocket science because I literally cannot but here she is and I hope that you enjoyed this episode let me know your thoughts in the comments below next episode I think will be our final episode in Poppy's house we'll be aging her up into an elder and we will also be having the wedding between Haru and Poppy finishing up officially the rose generation of the challenge so um, until next time guys I'll see you on the internet very soon bye